I absolutely love nuts. Dalesford Kindling Candle. Hey guys, and welcome to another vlog. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I really appreciate it as always. I feel like such a broken record when I say that, but it's true and I do. <laughs> I've got quite an exciting vlog today, or I think so anyway. I'm currently in the car in Slough. It's about half eight, so it was a really early start. I left home. Uh, just before seven so it was up at like 5 45 so very early and i'm heading into london so the reason i've parked here is i've got two pr events in london one is the white company christmas day thing so we get to see the new collection which is really exciting and then the other is kind of loads of different brands which is also really exciting and then this evening i have to come back here and then i'm driving to a christmas kind of launch exhibition and a dinner at Dalesford which I'm so excited for. Um, I've actually never worked with any of those brands really before so it's really nice to kind of be on the radar and yeah it kind of blows my mind that I um, am invited to some of these things but yeah I do get a bit anxious before going to them because obviously you don't know anyone who's going to be there. You can take a plus one if you want to but it's a Wednesday today so Mike is at work and couldn't get the day off he had meetings so I thought it would be good for me and for my kind of confidence and knowing that I can do it to come and give it a go on my own so I've just parked up at the station I actually get really nervous being in new stations and yeah all of this stuff but gonna go and try and figure out how to pay for parking and how to get into London and then to where I need to be but just gonna wing it but I am on tight time scales because so you can see there I've got a shirt and trousers in the back because it's like summer formal this evening whereas today I'm just wearing white jeans trainers and this yellow knit which I've worn quite a few times on here I think <laughs> it's my go-to this summer I'm going to try and vlog as much as I can today. Fingers crossed I can do it when we're in the places, but I'm not really sure what it'll be like. But yeah, I'd love to show you some of the new pieces if I can, but I'll have to ask when I go in. So we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so I have finished at the first PR event which was with Little Red Rooster PR and there were loads of really cool brands there actually like Smeg, Cotswold Company, literally loads of different ones so that was really cool and really nice to chat to lots of new people. I made my way into London okay. I did try to get some footage from the last event but honestly was too busy chatting but they had the most amazing spread which actually has inspired me to do a little bit more hosting and kind of up my grazing table game. I think they got a lot of it from Gail's Bakery because I saw a few boxes but I'm just headed to the White Company press launch day thing for Christmas now so again we'll go over to my phone because it's just easier to get footage and show you what I see. Guys so I've just come into the white company but I wanted to start with showing you this Sherling chair which I think is new out this season and yeah I'm literally obsessed with it. It's so so comfy and <sighs> Yeah, the fabric is amazing. So yeah, I think I might be looking at getting one of these. <laughs> okay, if anyone is looking for any Christmas mantle inspiration, this is it. This is literally 100% what I'm gonna be doing this year. Just loads of candles and what is it, pine or fur? I'm so bad at floristry knowledge, but yeah, love this. Oh my God, can you imagine this being your bath? with two amazing windows with like Juliet balconies either side and to top it all off a massive Christmas tree in the corner which is massive and really pretty. Another little bench here which has the same shirling as the chair which again I love with the kind of raw oak legs. So good. 
I swear I'm actually just walking around in awe. <laughs> just the way kind of everything is styled and dressed is beautiful. I mean, yeah, look over there through the kind of massive florist installation. It's just so pretty. Just the location and imagine if you actually lived here or waking up here on Christmas day. I think it's so nice and kind of shows you that you can do, even though this is really decadent, a more pared back Christmas with kind of the natural floral bouquets and then just some twinkly lights in the trees. It's so, so pretty. And I also love this new sofa. I know I've mentioned it on here before, but we are getting some new built-ins. So kind of loving seeing these ones and how like, luxury they look. Luxury? Luxurious in the darker color. And we're having gold next to ours as well. So yeah, really loving this setup. Also, not that you can see it very well, but there's the texture. I'm really loving this console. The kind of shape of the legs, I think is really, really pretty. So I've also just been told that the White Company have a new book launching. <laughs> they have a new book launching soon. So this is the old one, which I and I'm sure most other people have. And then this is the new one. So the Art of Living with White, which is by one of the White Company founders, Chrissy Rucker, who still works there. So yeah, really excited for that to come out. I've also just spotted all of this menswear. I'm in the market for a new dressing gown and thinking of getting Mikey one for his birthday as well. So really love the look and the feel of this one. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've honestly had such a nightmare this afternoon. So when I last spoke to you, I think I was just leaving the White Company Christmas event, which was amazing. There were so many beautiful things. I got a really cute goodie bag as well. So I'll show you what's in that later when I get home. Um, but Basically, I went to Paddington straight after that event and there was an accident, I think, on one of the lines. So all of the trains were cancelled. So I ended up having to go to Waterloo. No one knew how I could get back to my car, which is in Slough, because it was just the easiest place for me to park and then get to the event at Dalesford this evening. So yeah, for a moment, I didn't think I would make it, but I have made it, I think, in the nick of time to my car. I had to get a train to Windsor and Eton Riverside, then walk to a different station, then get a train to Slough, but I literally just missed the train and then another one came. Very long and boring story. <laughs> but I'm here now. I've got my change of clothes in the back. I look very sweaty, so luckily, Oh, did I? Yes. Luckily, I bought my get ready kit. <laughs> Just like some concealer for under my eyes and stuff. Um, so I need to head to Dalesford now. I've got about an hour and a half to get there, which I think is about right. Quick change in the car and then we'll hopefully be able to show you some of that event as well. <laughs> So I've just arrived at Dalesford Farm for tonight's event, so I'm going to head in now, but just thought I'd show you, well, how pretty everything is. <laughs> It's real, so can't buy it, but literally obsessed with it. fun there. I didn't realise how far it was to get home. I don't know how 
probably because Mikey always drives. <laughs> but it took me about an hour and 45 minutes to get home, so I wasn't home until about midnight, but honestly the event was incredible. It was so nice to see the Christmas collection from Dalesford. We had a five course dinner, which was incredible. And yeah, it was amazing to meet lots of really lovely new people and also some people who I've met before or known online for a while. So yeah, just the best evening and really nice to be out at events, seeing people and yeah, just networking again. Obviously that kind of stuff was on hold for such a long time. So it feels so nice to be doing it again. And I feel so lucky to have the opportunity to go to things like that. Yes. But I'm feeling very tired today because yeah, I didn't get back until midnight and I ended up staying up and kind of just replying to some messages, doing some Instagram stuff and a couple of emails as well. So feeling it today, but thought I would come on here and show you some of the really lovely goodie bags that I was given from the event yesterday because who doesn't love a goodie bag? A goodie bag. <laughs> also, can we just ignore how tired and dead I'm looking today? It's fine. And I'm also really cold, which is why I'm wearing this. <sighs> okay, so starting off with Dalesford, we were each given one of these gift bags on the table. So firstly, this bag is beautiful in itself, and I'll definitely be using this all the time. It's got really, really lovely leather straps, which you can hopefully see. And then it says Dalesford Organic Farm on it, and it's a really nice canvas bag with a pocket inside as well. So, I mean, if, if you like Dalesford looking for a new kind of shopping bag, then this is a good one. And yeah, in there it was basically just filled with goodies, which is so nice. So the first... You finished? <laughs> I'm not sure how well the camera will focus on this. Hopefully you can see it okay. But this is a bottle of rosé that we actually tried last night. I don't know how you pronounce the brand. I think Lube? 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 lube who knows we drank all of their wine last night so we had a white a rosé a red and a champagne i could only just have a small taste but we have had this before and it's so good i'm a big rosé lover so yeah really really happy to have one of those um next was this little jar so the pot itself is really cute so I'll definitely be keeping this maybe putting coffee in it and this is some organic cashew butter snowballs crumbly and light cashew nut butter biscuits made by hand on our farm so nice that's these jars are really really good for keeping I have a shelf here which I keep things on and I'm actually planning on having a shelf added over there so perfect oh god just, that really just hit me they smell amazing so yeah, really love that and obviously we'll keep the jar. Then another little similar, or the same jar actually, that says Dalesford on the top in the wood. And this is an organic sweet and sm smoky nut selection. So I absolutely love nuts. <laughs> God, this is honestly such a treat. The next thing is some matches so a really really lovely little box that shows a hand holding a glass i mean i'm sure you can see that for yourself but there are lots of matches in there and i actually don't have any matches so i'm really really happy to have those that will look really nice like i think on a coffee table next to a candle so really happy with that God, honestly, it's endless. This is so, so nice. This Bamford um, hand and body wash. So Bamford is the sister brand to Dalesford. They kind of fall under the same umbrella, but they've got their own shop at Dalesford, um, which is so nice. I saw a lot of the collection last night. So they have women's clothing, men's cashmere jumpers. Excuse me. And dog clothes candles, 
body wash, hand wash, spa products, literally everything. Diffusers. Let's smell this. Mmm, that's like really citrus. Oh, citrus hand and body wash. Would make sense that it's called citrus, wouldn't it? So that's delicious. And then I'm guessing in the same fragrance. Yeah, citrus body lotion. So that's super nice. So thank you so much for that. But I know I keep saying it, but this, it is supposed to, but this literally does feel like Christmas. So nice. We, I then had this on my table, which is a cracker. It had my name on, which I thought was really cute. It's such a nice touch. I haven't actually opened this, but it has bath salts, a pillow mist, and a body wash, all from Bamford as well. So, again, super nice, and I'm really excited to try their products, because I haven't had any before. I have had a candle, actually, once before, but I haven't used any of the body or skincare products, which I love. So, yeah, excited to give that a go. The last thing in there is this Dalesford Kindling Candle. So it's 100% natural wax with a burn time of 90 hours. It's smoke, frankincense, juniper berries, cedar wood, triple wick candle. So pretty luxurious and one to add to my candle collection, which is actually going to be one of my next videos, talking about candles, rating them all, and giving you my faves. Oh my god. That is seriously good. Let me know if you've tried this candle before or any of the kind of Dales for range, but if you haven't and you're a candle lo lover like me, I recommend you give it a go. So it's a really simple glass jar that says Dalesford and then it has this kind of tree embossing on it um, in white, which is really nice, just really simple, which I love because you can literally put it anywhere and it works, which is really nice. Just something really simple. So yeah, really, really pleased with that. So thank you very much to Dalesford for those lovely, lovely gifts. How wonderful. God, I honestly feel so lucky. I know I keep saying it and I say it on Instagram as well and I don't mean to say that to annoy anyone, but I feel so lucky to be in a position where I get to try and work with such incredible brands and to kind of be able to call that work and or a part of work anyway, it's just amazing. And yeah, I feel really grateful and obviously privileged to be able to be in that position. And please don't think that I ever um, taking any of this for granted really means a lot and they're such amazing events and to work with yeah incredible companies and brands means yeah so much to me. <laughs> Next is the white company. I did open this one already but I went to their Christmas event which you would have seen earlier in the vlog and as like a parting gift which is so sweet and yeah really unexpected because I literally just dropped in for kind of half an hour 40 minutes they gave this little goodie bag. Let me try and focus. Um, so I've actually been needing a new kind of beauty bag for a while. Mine is haggard, not good. So this is perfect. So yeah, I really love that. It's got a really simple chrome zip. And then in there are some cashmere socks, which I've actually had cashmere socks from the white company before and they are very nice, so I'm <laughs> very happy with those, so thank you. There's an eye mask as well, which has a little kind of rose embroidery on, so that's really cute. <laughs> Not really asleep. <laughs> There's also this really nice sleep spray, which I will definitely be keeping. I use pillow mist most nights, and I actually don't love lavender, but I know it's really good for sleeping. Most of the sprays are just lavender, but this one has chamomile in as well, so definitely gonna give that one a go. So thank you very much to the White Company. Sorry if that was a really long video, I'm actually not sure how much content I got. It could have been not very long and been a bit rubbish. <laughs> but hopefully you enjoyed some insight into some of the upcoming Christmas collections for the brands. I know it's super early to be talking about Christmas and a lot of people don't even like to think about Christmas until November, December. But 
it's kind of the reality of working in interiors or this industry is you have to start thinking about that really, really early. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video and got to see some interesting new pieces and also enjoyed some of the things that I was very kindly given by those brands. If you enjoyed it, please do subscribe to my channel and give this video a like and let me know in the comments what else you'd like to see from me. I always yeah, try and do what you guys want, so do let me know what videos you'd like and I will look forward to making them and seeing you next time. Thanks guys, bye.